I don't know if it's the heat outside or what, but I have just been craving iced coffee lately. I do still like to drink warm coffee in the morning, no matter if it's summer or not. I love my hot coffee in the morning. That is like my ritual. I have to have it. Today, I am sharing with y'all the first reset kind of video before my oldest son, Riot, starts school. Here, I am sharing y'all the snacks and chips and stuff that I got for his lunches. I also picked up a lot of dinner ideas that I felt like were going to be easy for me in the evenings just until we get used to this new routine. I do a lot of cooking from scratch, but I did grab some stuff that I knew I could whip up very quick. So I got lots of pasta, pasta sauce, and then I can easily pair that with whatever meat and a side salad or whatever kind of side vegetable we want. I got plenty of milk to last us through the week. And that will probably only last us a week. My kids drink a lot of milk. I got some English muffins to make me and Josh breakfast and some cinnamon rolls for easy breakfast on the weekend. I did get some heavy whipping cream to make some recipes, plenty of fruits and vegetables. I already put everything in the fridge, but I wanted to kind of show y'all like what my grocery haul looked like. And I, my freezer is so full. So we have a deep freeze out in our garage, but it, it had something, it got unplugged, I think. And so we had a lot of stuff ruined. So we had to unplug it, clean everything out. And so now I have to go plug it back in and get ready to put all of these bulk items that I bought in there. Cause I'm running out of room in my little inside freezer. I did save some stuff last week, some rotisserie chicken. I've got some bone broth and then I had a lot of peppers and onions, some taco meat. I chopped up the peppers and onions and then I put them in these freezer bags for any kind of meal. I can make a gumbo. I can do jambalaya, stuff like that. So I did get some easier, quicker breakfast items for the kids, like these pancake and sausage corn dogs, the sausage biscuits. Those are really easy to just microwave if, you know, we're running late. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do next week, waking up early. This is very new to me. This is my first son going to school. So it's going to be a little bit of a culture shock for the family to be getting up that early and me throwing those three kids in the car. So I got some canned beans. Those are our favorite canned green beans, baked beans, paper plates, and me and Josh needed a couple of shower items. I was out of sugar, and this is what I got from Sam's Club. I always get their lunch meat. It lasts us a really long time for sandwiches. They have the best white grapes, so I grabbed those. Mexican cheese, I'm going to put one of those in the freezer, and the other one we'll eat on through the week. Those chicken strips that we love, their ground beef, and I'm trying out their pizzas. I just got cheese pizza for the kids. They look really good, and it comes in a three-pack, so I'm going to have to go put this in the big deep freeze, and I always stock up on butter while I'm there. I don't know how good the quality is, but it's just so much easier for me to have butter like that on hand. French toast sticks, another good easy breakfast. My husband Josh also loves the French toast sticks. He can eat like 15 in one morning and of course i'm at sam's club so i'm gonna grab a rotisserie chicken and we got these sparkling waters to try and y'all just have a good laugh at me because i have light brown sugar in my jar and i was running low so i grabbed some more brown sugar and yeah i grabbed dark brown sugar and i don't know if it's a big deal mixing the two but i definitely did so enjoy me with uh you know my little dumping of brown sugar with mixed colors i don't know i think the dark brown is going to be more strong like more of a molasses flavor and the light brown sugar is just closer to white sugar i don't know y'all can correct me if i'm wrong but here i am just showing y'all a few things in the produce section that i bought I was telling my husband Josh how good it feels to have a fully stocked pantry and refrigerator. I just feel so, so blessed to have all of this food because 
it is so expensive and I don't think you understand how expensive it is unless you are the one who does the grocery shopping for your family every time I go I'm just <laughs> it's just like such a bummer to pay for stuff like and I don't even buy chips and snacks that often for my kids, but I wanted to make Riot's lunches easier for me to pack for him. So I did get a couple things like that. And before I start my actual reset of the house, this is the next day, by the way, so you'll see my clothes have changed. Um, I have been letting the boys come out on the deck that Josh built us in the backyard in the morning time to play and get some sun and get their energy out in the mornings because as you can see we're in the shade right now but in the evenings that deck is covered in sun and it is just miserable right now to go out there so that's what we're doing i'm letting them get you know their play time out there we've got this chicken that came from my sister's house we're fostering because a raccoon got a lot of their chicken so she's just the sweetest little baby and after this, I am going to tackle a lot of work that needs to be done in the home. Y'all will have to let me know how y'all like the music I chose for this video because I know that a Sunday reset is supposed to motivate you to get stuff done and clean, but the music is kind of relaxing, so I don't know if they <laughs> mix well, but I just don't like all the busy techno crazy music in my videos. Um, so even though I am hustling, the music is kind of chill. I am tackling the least favorite chore in my house, and that's this laundry room. That's where everybody comes in. The rugs that I have down get so dirty so fast. I can never keep it clean. Josh's work boots are notorious for tracking in rocks, pebbles, dirt. I mean, just anything like that. So I had to shake the rugs outside and then sweep really good and I'm going to also mop in here today and no joke y'all the water is probably going to be black like this laundry room gets the most track because on the other side I have the door that exits out to our garage and our backyard so it's a high traffic area we get a lot of uh, feet in here a lot of crocs chicken poop you name it so I'm about to get these floors clean
This is another chore that I don't like to do. It grosses me out. I hate cleaning this trash can. Every so often, we'll just take it outside and completely drench it with bleach and just spray it with the water hose. But for now, I'm just going to wipe it out, get all the crumbs out of the crevices and put it back. Not everybody cares about how they throw stuff in the trash can. Cough, cough, my kids and husband. <laughs> I'm the only one that cares. Okay, I'm just picking. But anyways, I despise cleaning that thing. It's just disgusting. And anything that gets on the walls is hard for me to wipe off because I have yet to repaint my laundry room. And for now, it has that gray flat paint that is throughout some areas still in my house i cannot wait to paint in here and put a glossy type of paint on these walls are just so much easier for me to clean and wipe down I was trying to do most of my cleaning before lunch. I started in the morning and I wanted to get done within like a couple hours and just do some of the things that I've been needing to do. The floors were top priority. They were so dirty because I wanted to take advantage of the tax-free weekend and go get my kids a few things they've been needing and just a few last minute things before Riot starts school. And um, so I was just going to get my floors nice and clean before we headed out into town. I wish y'all could see the way I was sweating trying to mop this laundry room. There was stuff like just stuck to the floors that you just can't see on camera. And I was so hot. I don't know why, but our laundry room does not get good um, insulation. Like it does not stay cool in here at all. And I was also running my dryer, so that didn't help. But yeah, I was putting some serious elbow grease into this mopping of the laundry room because I probably won't do it again for a couple of weeks. So now you see me staying in there. I was t literally trying to take a breath. Another reason I move so quickly when I'm mopping is because my one-year-old was taking a nap. So I'm trying to get it done while he's asleep because then I don't have to worry about him walking and slipping on these floors or crawling through it and just getting cleaner all over his hands and stuff like that. So I was really trying to hurry so it would have time to dry before he woke up too. All right, 
that now. Y'all don't judge me. I told y'all this mop water was going to be bad. It was so dark, full of dirt. I know most of that is from that laundry room where everybody comes in with their shoes on. But I was like, okay, maybe I'll need to do a rinse after this. Like, I really could have went back twice. But the baby had woke up at that point, And the floors were definitely cleaner than they were before. So I'll take that as a win. And I started vacuuming my rug. And Channing has started with this whole Velcro baby. Like, he just wants to be on my hip. So I do a lot of stuff now with him on my hip. I just feel like he's at that age of wanting to be held by mama and I had some super ripe bananas that have been sitting in my fridge and they were in my fridge because the fruit flies are like so bad here so I put them in the fridge so the fruit flies wouldn't get them and I knew I wanted to make banana bread and this is a recipe I've used for a long time and I'm going to tell you all how I make it we start off with three very ripe bananas I let the kids help me smash up the bananas. They were a little bit hard because they were cold, so they didn't smash easy. So I had to help them get them nice and soft. And then you're going to get two eggs and you're going to kind of beat them. I just put them in the same bowl and kind of whisk them on the side there. And then you need six tablespoons of butter and it needs to be melted half a cup of sour cream and you're going to mix everything all of your wet ingredients in a bowl you also need a little bit of vanilla extract but I ran out unfortunately so be sure and put like maybe a teaspoon or a couple teaspoons of that in there For your dry ingredients, you need one cup of brown sugar and two cups of flour, three fourths teaspoon of baking soda. I always add cinnamon in my banana bread and then I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together. I should have used a whisk for this. so. Do that if you can, because this spoon was not it. I was trying to get all the brown sugar clumps out and I was using that spoon and it was just not happening. So next you want to fold in your wet and dry ingredients and you're folding it because if you try to make this in the mixer or using a hand mixer and you beat the mess out of it, you are not going to have a good consistency of banana bread now you probably could do like a slow mixing cycle on your you know your KitchenAid or whatever but I'm just taking the time to hand fold it all in spraying my loaf pan with a butter spray and this makes enough for just one loaf so I'm pouring everything in and you are going to bake it in the oven at 350 for 55 minutes until the middle is done. chef's kiss my friends it turned out beautiful and delicious it's so good slap butter on it you don't even really need a lot of candle after cleaning when you make this bread because your whole house is gonna smell like fall i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i will see y'all next time